Hey guys, this is Chad, and today I'm playing SSX, and I'm helping you get the Do You See What I See achievement, which is to survive darkness deadly descent without equipping headlamp or pulse goggles. This achievement is for 25 gamer score. So what you need to do is you need to go to World Tour, go to Africa, choose the Kilimanjaro mountain range, and choose the Snakebite route. You can choose any rider you want. I would suggest choosing one that you are comfortable with. You can equip a wingsuit if you want, but you're probably not going to need it. The best tactic I can give you for surviving this run is to go to the TV settings on your TV and turn the brightness up as high as you can. Because without it, and without the pulse goggles, and without the headlamp, you're basically riding in complete darkness. It is, it's completely pitch black. And through the magic of editing, I'm going to show you what it looks like before and after turning up the brightness on your TV. So I'm going to show you right here, and right here. So as you can see, <laughs> there's a big difference between being able to see and being able to not see. Um, the only other tactic I can give you besides that is to hold down the left trigger uh, throughout the entire run. Now, holding down the left trigger, what this does is it makes your rider automatically grind on any surface that they can. Which, and what this does is if you're grinding, you can't fall, which is very helpful. But, you, but when you're grinding and when you're holding down the left trigger, your character can get pulled in a direction suddenly when you're not expecting it, but what this does is it actually helps you a lot more, because you could be end up straightened in a direction, go, you know, pull to the left, but that's going to make you grind instead of you know maybe falling off the edge. So in the end, it's a good thing. The only other thing I can say is just to take it slow, don't you know waste your rewinds, be smart with them, and if you do get boosts or any trickies or anything like that, don't use them. Don't use them. It's not worth it. Take as long as you want. There's no timer. All you have to do is hit the bottom, finish the race, and you should get the achievement. You know, do you see what I see? I want to thank you guys for watching. Check out more videos at AchievementHunter.com. See ya!